Okay, hello guys. What's up? Again, this is Haley, and welcome back to my channel. So, in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing about a complete beginner's guide and how to get started at the gym. Now, before we begin, I would like you to subscribe to my channel if you know and hit that like button, and don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you won't miss any of my videos now don't forget to follow me as well on social media facebook and instagram let's be friends there now without further ado let's start this video now talking about diligent research what do i mean by this is you have to educate yourself simply educate yourself and you can watch a lot of videos on youtube related to fitness or anything that can help you begin or ease your fitness goals and also don't go to the gym without having your you know the research first don't go to the gym without any knowledge about fitness and diet do your research about proper nutrition's, your macros such as fat protein and carbs and read a lot i encourage you to read educate yourself that's the best thing you can do first and again, you can watch fitness YouTube channels like this one that can resonate with you. And you can also read articles online that can help you motivate to get started. And I think that's what I've been doing before way back when I was, um, you know, starting. And yeah, you can do it too. And you can also hire a personal trainer or coach if you want to. Personal trainer are very helpful, helpful as well when it comes to achieving your fitness goals. Now going to number two is know your purpose and set the goal now the second one is you need to identify or spot and pinpoint why you want to start a fitness journey you need to you know have a purpose of why you're doing it is it because you wanted to lose weight is it because you wanted to you know shift some fats or you wanted to get in shape or want to maintain your physique or you wanted to you know um, gain some muscles or get toned so you'll have to figure that out mentally and you really need to ask yourself as well and why you're doing it and what you want to achieve like you have to be specific generally and why you want to start your fitness journey so ask yourself about that now setting a goal as well if you don't know what your goal is like you probably don't know what you're going to be achieving because you don't know what, what's your target right you don't have like a road map so you need to identify that first you need to mentally visualize the first grab a note notebook your planners your goal um, you know your goals why you want to you know start a fitness journey again you can try to watch a lot of YouTube videos like this one and also um, you know it can really help you push yourself and it can help you motivate as well you know then once you figure that out in your head and in your heart you are prepared already mentally and you know, physically to start then good job congratulations and having a goal in mind you know is going to be extremely important for those things that you're not feeling because um, you know sometimes your motivation may you know may not be there in your heart anymore and yeah, it really happens a lot this motivation is not always the thing it's your discipline that can make you stick to that now vision board can help you as well get in um, for example um, you can create a vision board that will help you remind every morning when you wake up or maybe I personally have a vision board at home about my goals um, like all of them about business money anything i wanted to, to happen in my life and next is number three so prepare your gym essentials this is very very important for me as well but also for you of course so your gym essentials such as your gym bag but of course you can use any bag so whatever you have available there and i don't buy any fancy bags yet and gym essentials also such as your water bottles i'm gonna put some pictures here on the screen and you know what i've been seeing a lot of many people buying water bottles you know at the convenience store that's um every time you work out it's that it's worth i think the small one is 25 and the big one is 36 or 40 something like that because sometimes for example if i forgot to refill my bottle water bottle if i like forgot to bring it um at the gym sometimes i, I bought those those water bottles as well and that's expensive like imagine water bottles every single workout multiply by how many days you work out in a month you can already buy a, a water bottle like girl that's a waste of money when you buy a water bottle every you know workout you can just buy a water bottle and refill it with water every time you go to the gym save your money and your time as well 
you know. I personally invest a water bottle. It's from Healthy Human. I'm gonna post it here. It cost I think 1,600. Um, you can also try Hydro Flask, but it's kind of expensive. But it's a good high quality bottle though. It's safe as well, and and I didn't bought the Hydro Flask because there's there's no pink available because I always like choose what's pink, and the pink is already. Um, sold out and I think the only available is black, gray, uh, what is it? green or blue and I don't like those colors so I didn't buy it and I already need one so I bought those healthy human um, I bet I bought the healthy human water bottle so I have a choice so I choose a different brand that is pink but still in a good quality so there's a lot of high quality water bottle guys it's not just high hydroplask um, yeah, the Hydro Flask is available in Ayala and Nurses as well here in Cebu City with different brands that are also available there. I don't know what the names are, but yeah, you can search it there anywhere. But, and also your alcohol body cream because, you know, um, yeah, you need alcohol to, you know, at least sanitize your hands and <laughs> body cream not necessarily. You don't need that one. That's only for me because I have this, I don't know. Um, I don't know, I love to put creams in my hand and also a small, I have two extra bags for my clean shirts and towels and the other one is for my dirty wet clothes after I work out and of course you don't mix your wet clothes with your clean ones, right? That's tacky. That's dirty, yo. Now moving on to number four. So number four is do um, body weights first and practice the correct posture and position. I've been seeing a lot of men and women out there like lifting weights, doing squats with the wrong position. Well, maybe they're just practicing it, but I'm just too the judgmental. But please avoid those mistakes as early as now because it's gonna hurt your body. You have a very, you know, high chance of getting injured and it's gonna hurt your legs, your back and please I'm telling you now I already experienced that that's why I highly recommend you to do body weights first practice practice the correct movements and know how to engage the right muscles okay it's what we call the mind muscle action now moving on to number five so we have set start small and don't compare yourself to others well we all start somewhere, right? Like big things come from small things. You really take, you know, those small steps first before you can achieve big things, right? So embrace that mindset as early as now. But that doesn't necessarily mean when you start your fitness journey, you really, you know, be like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, you need to, you know, look like a bodybuilder already know. Don't compare yourself to those, you know, people because they already have spent countless times at the gym. Probably they spent many years in the gym. And there's what we call Rome wasn't built in one night. Like, there's no such thing as overnight success. And it takes time, honestly. Be patient with yourself. Don't beat yourself up if you don't make it practice again tomorrow until you master it. And, you know, I know the machines are very intimidating. And I get that. I've been there. I probably like start a very light dumbbell or use a machine with so low weights until you master the form correctly. Now moving on to number six. So don't exhaust yourself too much. If you're a beginner, um, you're most likely to get tired easily or get exhausted. That's, all, that's okay because that's expected you're just getting started and don't push yourself too much yet because you will see the progress once you master the consistency that's the most important thing there the most important things is to master the basics first don't set unrealistic goals yet because you'll end up getting exhausted you're like you have these unrealistic expectations and you get mentally exhausted so don't do that that's not gonna help you and don't lift heavy weights yet as well if you haven't mastered the correct position please don't you'll end up getting injured don't lift heavy weights because someone is doing it like you're trying to prove yourself to them <laughs> or don't do that because if, if someone is doing it um let them do it but don't be you know envious of what they're doing there because they can do it no you have to practice it and you can start like probably 45 minutes or an hour of a workout. You can start with three to four times a week or as long as you're doing consistently, no matter how small that effort is, then good job to you. That's really a big progress. Master, um, you know, master that for a month and increase your time. Then try five times a week after a month. And yeah, that's how you like to try to progress or make some improvement to your, you know, current um, situation okay now next 
is don't do ab workouts. Instead, do full body workouts. I've noticed that some people, you know, have this thinking that when they work out, they want to get rid of their belly fat. I totally get that because I also want that too. But I'm telling you now that there is no such thing as fat reduction. And losing belly fat is very tedious process. It's not easy. And to make it simple, it comes from your diet, which is your, your diet should be 80% and your workout should be 20%. That's what we call the 80-20 rule. And that's the rule of getting rid of your fat or losing weight in general. Calorie deficit. And examples of best um, full exercises are like push-ups, um, squats, burpees, those lunges, deadlifts, running, cycling, staircase, climbing, and also yeah, those treadmill. I also use the treadmill like personally 30 minutes before um, or probably 45 or an hour sometimes. Depends to lose, you know, fat. Because the, the 10 to 15 minutes range of your work warm up is like it's just gonna burn your sugar. And then 30 minutes after or more than 30 minutes range is it's gonna burn your fat. That's why I always like have this high cardio um, warm up first. Because I'm trying to lose fat. I still have some fats, though I'm not that you know chubby anymore. But yes, I still have some fats that I need to, you know. Uh, my goal is to lower my body, the total body fat level. Now moving on to number eight. So you have to plan and structure your day. This is also important. How do you plan your day and how do you plan your workout? So think specifically in what to do, or you need to mentally visualize and planning ahead and structuring your day. So for example, Monday, I will prepare my things first, do my gym bag, you know, such as filling my water bottle, getting a clean towel, extra shirts and alcohol, soaps and whatever. And also check yourself too on, you know, what time you could possibly work out. Is it in the morning, in the, you know, lunch time, is it in the afternoon, in the evening? You really need to figure that, that out too. Like everything should be in detail and also, time management is very important. It's not just the work, but also in fitness. Like, probably time management also applies in, you know, literally any aspect of your life. Not just in fitness, not just at work, but literally everything. You can apply it. You have to set your time on um, that work that best works for you. Like, next is to plan your workout. For example, me, um, probably my best time for me to work out is before I work because I feel like I can't sleep anymore or like I feel like I'm very hyped after I work out like I don't know I feel happy so that's why you know I feel hyped so next is to plan your workout like for example I'm going to walk for a treadmill for 30 minutes or 45 minutes like make a system make a system that works for you like is it gonna um, are you gonna do treadmill or cycling and then are you gonna do weights what kind of weight lifting do you do something like that so you can you know um just make your own system that works for you and you need to you know write them down in detail so your brain will remember it and also you know mental reframing or reframing your mind can also be helpful that's how you trick your mind in achieving a, you know, a certain a certain goal so it's all in the mind now number nine is be patient and don't expect results right away patient because results don't happen overnight and you will encounter a lot of ups and downs like me some people will tell you oh um, you go to the gym or some people just you know will not support you your purpose should be bigger than other people's opinion don't listen to them and don't give up until you achieve your fitness goals and do whatever it takes to get there i know it's hard i get that i've been there and you have to surpass those you know hard times because you get stronger, you're stronger than your excuses. And don't expect the results right away and don't expect, you know, the results to get in three months that you will achieve your fitness goals already. No, it's literally take time. And some people achieve their fitness goals like a year or so. Or give yourself one year to see the results effectively you're try if you're trying to lose weight, like be patient. Don't be hard to yourself. Or expect that it's not going to be you know, easy. Or expect that it's going to be painful if you're you if you're doing like weightlifting like me. It's pretty painful and exhausting, but I can do it. But don't do those hard things if you can't sustain it. So don't give up. When things are getting hard and you know, when it's painful, because it's very painful. It's not an easy process, honestly. And I don't believe that there is such things easy. And always like have this mindset of 
There's no such thing as easy. Yeah, really have to work hard for it. Like, don't think that it's easy because it's not. But I know you can do it, guys. It takes uh, time. There is no shortcut. No shortcut. And ultimately, the most important and difficult part of any fitness is patience. And try to make like lasting changes rather than striving for perfection because stop. Stop striving for perfection. There's not there's no such thing as perfect either. So as you progress, you know, and get closer to your goals, you realize that there is a room for improvement. Yes, there's still a room for improvement and you will learn a lot day by day. And so you commit yourself to regular exercise and tweak your eating habits as well along the way. Now last but not least, we have consistently short app. So this is Stepping into the gym can be intimidating, yes, and especially if you're like a beginner, I've been there, but that's why I created this video for you, and maybe this can help you. I personally go to the gym like five to six times a week if you have a friend who's a fitness enthusiast as well. I'm pretty sure you know how dedicated they are, right, with their workout, their routines, and diet, and all of that. So as a beginner, like probably you can start like three to four times a week, then you can make sure that you're doing it every week for straight a mo one month and uh, like if you pass that one month period of being consistent you increase your days and try to work out like five times a week so try to make progress like don't stop with those you know excuses so it takes time you know takes it, it takes um what is this it takes 90 days to for you to build a habit it's a heavy three months guys three months of consistency that's already a habit now once you've reached that momentum your body will automatically wakes you up it's what we call autopilot and your brain will tell you, hey, you're gonna go to the gym now. So it's like me. I don't think it's not a big deal for me to go to the gym every day because it's already built. I already built a tablet. Like, it, it's not a big deal. And why consistency is important? Because being consistent will help you build momentum. This means that you'll also feel good about what you're working towards your fitness goals. And it can fast track your improvement or development in area. Not just in fitness, but consistency will lead you to progress, which can speed up the achievement of what you want, especially in fitness. Consistency is insanely, literally important. Now, make the fitness journey a major, you know, commitment to yourself. Break goals into parts. Uh, this is a big. This is a big reason why resolu New Year's resolutions fail because they're too big. Makes make goals this specific and measurable. And if you can't measure it, then you can't improve it. When you can't measure the things that are important to you, you make the things you can measure important. Does that make sense? You can't manage for improvement if you don't measure to see what's, you know, is getting better and what isn't. Make goals realistic and attainable and goals must be meaningful to you guys. So. Okay, so that is it guys and I know there's a lot more but I think that's the uh, I think these are the most you know important and basics and I hope that you like this video and if you do please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel right now so leave a comment as well of what you want to see next and let me know if you know in the comments below if you can relate to this video bye bye see you soon